Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're now in 1.1, part 3, which is the last part of 1.1, and we're asked to come up or derive the standard equation of a circle. So let me show you how this is going to work. A circle always emanates from the center. So the center of the circle I'm going to mark as the ordered pair HK. This is traditionally what you call the center of a circle generically. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to measure out a certain distance from the center, and of course that distance is going to be called the radius, so I'm going to let that be the letter R. And then I'm going to spin my circle around as best I can, okay? Oh, that's not bad for a... Wow, good for me. Okay, that's not a bad circle. So I have drawn my circle. H comma K is the center. R is the length of the radius. There are infinitely many points on the boundary of a circle. They are called boundary points. I'm going to label this particular boundary point X, Y. But understand that that point can be anywhere on the circle. Okay, so I want you to know the players. H is the... HK is the center of the circle, R is the length of the radius, and XY is a point on my circle. Now I hope you agree with this. The distance from the center to here is equal to the radius, right? The distance from HK to XY is equal to R. So if I apply the distance formula, if I apply the distance formula between these two points, I would get x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. Okay, I just went directly into the distance formula and put these two points in. All right? x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is the distance between these two points, and we know that distance is equal to r. Now watch what we're going to do. I don't want to work with an equation that has a square root in it. That's ugly. So to get rid of a square root, we're going to take both sides of this equation and raise it to the second power. Now over here, the square root and the square are inverse operations, so they cancel each other out. So that leaves me with x minus h quantity squared and it leaves me with a plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to and then r to the second power is r squared. And what I have just come up with is referred to as the standard equation of any circle. So, if hk is the center If R is the length of the radius, okay, and if XY is any point on the circle, then the, st the standard equation of my circle is X minus H quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. And this is a formula that you need to put in memory. It is called the standard form or standard equation of any circle. hk is the center, r is the radius, and x comma y is a boundary point. And this is the equation of the circle. So from now on when you're dealing with circles, this is your building block. This is your foundation.